It's not easy to find a place to take a shower eight miles up, even when you're Jennifer Aniston. I'm looking for the shower. There are no showers here, ma'am. Well, I'm gonna look pretty silly, dressed like this, going to the bar. There's no bar here, but we do have hot towels and a bag of peanuts. And with this dig at domestic airlines, America's sweetheart begins her gig advertising Emirates Airline. There's no shower? No. Oh, and there's no bar. No. Oh, yeah. Why are you laughing like that? You're killing me. Next thing you know, Jen wakes up in her Emirates flatbed. It was such a nightmare. I was on a plane, and it was nothing like this. I'm sorry to hear that. Emirates is the only airline that offers showers in first class. We go inside, it's actually pretty spacious. You get five total minutes. Showering at cruising altitude is so heady, it's hard to resist a little show and tell. That was pretty fantastic. The only bad news about the in-flight shower is that you'll take a bath when it comes to paying the ticket price. Round trip first class between New York and Dubai, just over $30,000. But you do get your own little suite to sleep in. Golf-based airlines are using stars like Nicole Kidman. Reimagine it. To expand into the U.S. market, while the big three American airlines push back, saying their golf rivals have an unfair advantage because they're subsidized by their governments. Is there someone that we could talk to about maybe flying this around a little bit longer? You'd never know. The real Jen suffers from fear of flying. It's all <laughs> flying to me, which is terrifying. I struggle with it. But it's less of a struggle when you're in the shower. A shower at 40,000 feet makes you feel less psycho. <laughs> Unless you hit turbulence, then fasten your shower cap. Genimo, CNN, New York.